Alright, hello everyone, this is Nala and I am back with that video, back with the video that I mentioned I would make about the Komodo firewall review. And this is what it looks like, as we can see, everyone who said Windows 8's gonna suck and it's gonna be crap. Uh, so far, everyone's been completely and utterly wrong. Windows 8's had, I run better on playing games, I do far better with many programs, it's more secure than Windows 7, and a lot of programs have been adapting to it, such as the past, even Komodo's new interface looks a little bit more like the tiles and style of that of Windows 8, and many other programs such as AVG have also done it. But um, this is what the written was, it's a Komodo firewall, uh, number 6, and I'm going to be showing you what its features are, how it works, and why it is you should use it. Komodo Firewall, instead of the Windows default firewall, allows the inbound and outbound connections, blocks inbound and outbound connections. Windows 8 and Windows 7 firewalls also include that. The difference is Windows 8 and Windows 7 firewalls defaultly have it turned off and do not give you the option to allow or block the connection. So for instance, if I want to block certain, like if I want to run TeamViewer, and the program is set to block outbound connections, well, if I'm sending outbound connection to another computer, I can't control them unless I go into the settings, because if it thinks it's bad, it'll go in and it'll say no, and it won't give me an option. Well, Komodo allows me to have that option and more freedom. Now, some people are going to argue it's more annoying, and it's a little, it's going to be more annoying because of the pop-ups. Um, you can have a set to remember the pop up so you don't have to worry about that and it's becoming better for ignoring certain programs that it knows are safe but uh... let's just uh... show you everything well, they got a little scan uh... i'm gonna have its rating scan go over here and i can't no, i can't have it like do i want it or anything we'll give it there it also comes with this default widget that warns you and gives you immediate access to your browsers in the sandbox. So if you're going to going to specific websites like, uh, let's say you're going to go banking, well, the best thing about this is since it's a sandbox, it allows the browser to be separate from the rest of the system, so that it will be perfectly safe in case your machine is already infest infected. And if you're using it for testing. The theory is, since it's testing in a sandbox environment, your host machine will not get infested. Some forms of malware have been known to get past that, but that's not the point. Most of them don't, and it's very speculative. A lot of people speculate if it actually gets past it. And it's got its Facebook and Twitter posts right there. This is the uh, inbound traffic, how many, kilo how many bytes and uh, bytes per second and outbound and it says need attention because I literally just installed now this is what it's going to look like after you install it it's going to tell you to fix it and restart the uh, sandbox objects are you can drop a program into the sandbox and run it if the program is found to be unsafe by you you can go in and delete it from the rest of the machine some of you are watching this. I know. The update, and I don't think my internet's on. This strange. I turned it off. Stop it. Okay. That, it just updates it. And I have Microsoft Silverlight. It's probably because I turned my internet off. Wait, why is it on? Eh, I'll deal with it later. And, um, essentially what the kiosk is supposed to be... It, it's just not much, really. I mean, no one really... I tried grasping the kiosk and I got annoyed because it doesn't, like... Explain it. But, um... We're just gonna move past that for a minute. Quarantine. If it finds a file that is infected, you can delete it. You can add a program to the quarantine. Delete. Delete. And you can submit.
what submit will allow to do is if you are unsure of the programs of virus, it will be sent to Komodo and they'll una analyze it and say, probably within hours or whenever they get the next patch, and it's going to say, okay, this is now a clean or this is an infected file and stay away. But um, this is a great tool because it allows the users to easily send fi files into Komodo and assist other users that use Komodo Firewall. And the last thing is the Komodo Task Manager. And this basically does everything that Komodo is doing. So if I have the kiosk, the update, and all the quarantine open, let's for instance say I open this. Okay, and I come out of the Task Manager. It should be showing it. I have a feeling the Komodo Task Manager is going to be soon the, the integrated Komodo kill switch but uh, it seems to be very strange that they have this task manager and I've got like the regular task manager and then process explorer and uh, I'm gonna uninstall it after this because I don't need it right now I'm not doing anything insane and this thing's almost done alright it says I have 120 1241 trusted files Sorry. Ten unknown files. Let's just see where that means. If it's unknown, let's try to see if it's an unknown file anywhere. Oh. I swear up. Now I'm getting annoyed. You just get a list of about a thousand files to up. Oh, there it is. And and if I know it's safe, I can identify it as being safe. Like if I hit trust, this is a trusted file, I know it. Apply selected actions, and now it's applied to trusted files. Now if I were to do it again, if I were to do it again, then this would show that as being a trusted file, and my trust rating would be up higher. Now if Komodo deems the file to be bad, or it knows that from its antivirus, then it will, then it will notify you right away and prompt you to remove it. <coughs> Trying to find... You can see like a lot of... that's an ignored one. Because I trusted it. But uh, now we're going to close that. And uh, I'm going to show you what it's like on... Uh, where's Process Explorer? There it is. Alright, the Komodo is using 11 megabytes, 14 megabytes, 15 megabytes worth of total space there. It's using less than SpyBot Search and Destroy, which is pretty good. Hold on. It's using less than SpyBot Search and Destroy, and it's got a lot more features than the other one. This right here is going to say Komodo Internet Security. You will not have to worry about installing a full security package because it will not interfere with my SpyBot Search and Destroy or the Avast Free. Uh, if you ever saw my post, I recommended that you were that you uh, whitelist or blacklist the program so that way they weren't scanned. But uh, you will not need to worry about that because you can't seem to do that here. And uh, it doesn't seem like I can stop it from scanning anything. But um, I don't have to worry about the, them interfering. They never do. This has got no. The Komodo firewall has no built-in antivirus. The SpyBot Search and Destroy has no built-in antivirus. Why does this matter to you? This uses cloud, and what it gets from updates from its real time. Whenever you want to update it, it sends you its information, but it's not actively protecting you. It's just a, this is just a, uh, how do I put it, a, uh, this is just a firewall. <laughs> it's all about as simple as I can say. This just blocks the connections. There's no antivirus. The only protection that it adds additionally is it shows the trust ratings, the scan ratings, and determines if it's safe both from what Komodo says and from what in your, and what your browser is saying. So for instance, at your browser, your file. 
So if the scan says this is unknown, you send it into Komodo. Komodo uses the cloud, brings it back and says, okay, that's no longer good, it'll be released in the next update. It has no interference with Spybot. Spybot won't even bother with it. Two separate scans and they're not going to interfere. Uh, if you're concerned, but a word of advice. If you install Avast, restart the computer first, then install Komodo, restart the computer, then install Spybot, and then restart the computer. You do not want all of them to restart at the same time, because some people say they have issues with that, and there's possible unexplainable issues. Another thing to do with that's unexplainable, having multiple scans going. If two scans show each other, because like Avast has the script and uh, shields, if two scans are scanning at the same time, Avast is going to see that process and it's going to be like, whoa, what's that thing doing? It's scanning everything I am. Could be a virus. It's going to say, okay, I'm going to kill this thing. Well, then your spy bot's going to be like, oh, what's he trying to do to me? He's like, and he is going to go beam up and be like, bam, bam, bam. And Komodo's going to be like, I don't even know what's going on anymore. Because it doesn't have any antivirus. So it's going to be like, bam, bam, bam. And then I'm asking him, oh, you have no chance here. And then your computer's going to freeze, lag out, and you're basically a kernel, a security kernel, where the file is going to be stored, where the uh, antivirus and anti spyware go, are going to be trying to fight each other and probably lead to confliction, which leads to destruction. But um, as long as you do those, your computer should be fine, and if you install the Komodo firewall, please remember to go into you, if you're using the uh, uh, Internet Explorer 8, go right click down here, go Control Panel, System and Security, Windows Firewall, and then you go to Turn Windows Firewall on or off, and then you go turn off and turn off and then then your computer will be fine other than that uh, thank you for watching stay tuned for other videos and if you like the video please like share and subscribe with all your friends about these three programs that I have reviewed and I will put them together to make one total review about their security rating and I'm going to show you their prevention rate tests and that, thank you for watching, and stay tuned. See ya.